गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल टूडे इज योर फर्स्ट क्लास ऑफ एस एस टी टूडे ऑन वर्ड्स आई विल सेंड वीडियोज एंड ऑडियोज और ऑडियोज सम ऑफ द क्लासेज आई कैन सेंड ओनली नोट्स एज पर द कॉन्टेंट ऑफ योर सोशल स्टडी बुक बिफोर स्टार्ट द लेशन प्लीज कीप ऑन द रोटेड स्क्रीन टूल्स इफ यू आर यूजिंग मोबाइल फोन टूडे आई विल टीच योर फर्स्ट लेशन वाट इज हिस्ट्री so first we'll see that what we'll learn from the chapter so from the chapter we'll learn the meaning of history importance of history family history and periods of history so let's start before that i want to share some of the things i want to ask some things that have you ever wondered how people lived in the past what did they they eat what kind of clothes did they wear what kind of houses did they live in what games did the children play and what kind of school did they attend the study of history help us to find the answer to some of these questions so here you can understand history is a study of past look closely at the word history it is the word story it has the word story hidden in it so history is a story of people who lived in earlier times here i have given a picture of herodotus is called the father of history he was the first to describe egypt as gift of the nile so who is the father of history herodotus so next the importance of history why we will learn history why do we learn history so first history records and explain past events in chronological order following the order in which events occurred since time is very important here the study of the past important to understand the present since history is a continuous story of one event leading to another the present cannot be understood without understanding the past next history help us to learn from the mistakes of our ancestors for example history teaches teaches us about the harmful and destructive nature of wars next we read about the great men and women such as gautam buddha jesus christ prophet muhammad guru nanak mirabai and many others we try to follow their teaching in our daily lives this help us become better human beings so history also help us to become a human good human beings and one of the important importance of the history is the uh, history is we do not study the past of our country alone we also study about the past of another countries other countries and civilization this help us to understand their cultural as well so we can know about the culture of different countries by the book of history next different period of history See the first period is ancient, medieval, and modern period. So, the history, total history, is divided in three parts. Because historian divided these parts to understand better, there have the cultural differ differences. Not also the there have the time differences. Depend on the times we can divided the periods. So from the ancient period. it consists of the history oldest time and since the beginning of the human races to early empires medieval period it consists of the history of the times between the ancient and modern period and the modern it consists of the history of recent times so ancient period when the humans were evolved 
human beings was evolved from that time to early empires indian kingdoms discuss in the ancient period medieval period discuss that foreign invaders came in on india and up to 1757 policy battles and some of the books written 1857 up to revolt of 1857 revolt of 1857 is discussed in the medieval period and modern period start after the medieval period next time in history you have to understand the time of history time of history is expressed by the two terms one is bc and another one is ad bc is bc means before christ and ad means anno domini the years before the birth jesus christ were are expressed in bc means if this is the birth of jesus christ if you see the zero so this is called bc and that side it's called ad they are counted backwards if you count the bc so it will come from here to the this sides if you come count the bc so you have to count from this side to this side means if it is 1000 bc and if it is zero so it is earliest and it is the recent time and here if is 1000 so zero is earliest and it will go ascending order and it will come in descending order this side is called bc and that side is called ad it means the anno domini i told and it, that is the year of our lord and these years and counted forward for example ad 99 comes before ad 100 nowadays most historian use bc instead of bc and ce instead of ad bc stand for before the common era and ce stand for the common era scholars who prefer using bc and ce feel that it is more natural more, more neutral and no religious way of writing dates next it is your exercise you know already in your books you will get it or if you don't have books now you didn't buy from the school so you can do from the here also from mobile you can take the screenshot and complete it up to c a to c it is your homework this lesson is very small so you can do and if any doubt is there you can ask me you can phone me for today thank you